Hello everyone! This is Knitting I Love podcast and my name is Barbara and if you want any more details just go to the box below and you have all the links there to Instagram, Ravelry, Facebook and so on and so on and so on. What I can say, I'm very happy that you could be with me and especially after my wild, weird um, shopping yarn addict experience. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this one, that you from the whole people around the world understands me and if you have your birthday and you want to share your treasures I'll be happy to see and watch because um, I don't know it's like being a part of it anyway so if you have birthday and you received something you're on Instagram just hashtag knitting I love or just tag me and I'll be happy to see it and tell you that it's lovely and it's beautiful and yeah that's that. I need to apologize for my misspelling. I probably mispronounce everything so I straight away apologize for that too. <laughs> um, but in regards to misspelling, during the podcast I misspelled the website name. So I'll put it over here. And then if you saw my short video about my trip to there, that place, there was a proper link over there too. Well, the whole links that I linked to were fine. It's just just that my typing error. Sorry. So, well, in my knitting cave is still freezing. So I have a hat and I have my first time ever mittens that I made. Eh. Eh. They're fine. I call them something about my brother's mittens. Yeah, you can check them on the Ravelry. Um, I will put uh, in the show notes a link. Yeah, I've never created a video about them. Read it and hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully. Now, what this episode is about? This episode is about, well, few sections. First, giveaways, because I will have to announce, have to, oh, I will have that pleasure to announce three winners, which was Instagram giveaway, I had Ravelry giveaway, and I had YouTube giveaway on the last episode. So yeah, because you're here and so many of you, I just, who's watching me? <laughs> it's just, yeah, yeah. People at work, they have a blast, by the way. Giveaways section, then it will be in the jar section, more nominations. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch a lot because if I stuck to one person, I just, I don't know, I love you so much that I want to see more episodes. And obviously they're long and I enjoy, enjoy them all. So I think I may have two or three. What's off my needles? Two things. What's on my needles? Two things. Yeah. Then I will have a cal section. No, 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 no. I, the only cowl I have is a knit a hat cowl, which will be, you can include crochet. Um, so yeah, check that out on Laverly. When I hit 200 um, comments, well, your FOs read to what it says, what you need to do. Then I will draw a winner and so on and so on. So that try will be there because I don't want to have a list of long topics in my group. That's that. And I posted a photo which basically be, you can choose one of my small sets. So if you're a circular fan or if you're a DBN fan, yeah. If you win, you just let me know what color you like. Patterns, that'd be new section. I'll call it on my ra radar, <laughs> on my radar. Yeah, because uh, if you haven't watched, I'm um, trying to find a good pattern for a yarn that I have and I'm still searching for it. Now, how I knit because I discovered something and it is so embarrassing and I'll tell you more and if you survive up till then then it's a potter more thingy um, and that's because of grocery girls last episode I did something and I was sh in shock with results I will add more sections in the new episode but I will tell you at the end of this video what I have in mind so I hope you'll enjoy this one and keep on watching. So section giveaways. I organized three giveaways ages ago, not ages ago, but if you follow me, you know, so it's good to subscribe because then you'll be up to date with my giveaways. And I hope 
to have more in the future. But that was small things, little things, some just kind of sweets, I call it. So that's that. First one, I will announce the winner for Instagram. Oh yeah, prizes, wait. Da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, it's fun for me anyway. Um, because you enjoy what I enjoy and that's amazing. Um, so Instagram, I post a photo of this. So I draw a winner through the, the application, random something. And the person who won was, I place it over here for you to all see. So I'm going to send that to you, please, on Instagram. Um, PM me, DM me, I don't know how to say that. But yeah, give me your address, I'll send it to you as fast as I can. I need to make that photo winner, so I'll, I'll do that this week. Ravelry. Oh, I love to hear loads of things, you know, and uh, if you see that love that I can only do because I couldn't write anything on Ravelry because that would account as my comment and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, yeah. If you see love, that means that I read it. So on Ravelry, the winner is someone who also enjoyed birthday for seven days with the whole family. Not sure that she enjoyed it or she shared to enjoy it, but that was cool too. And you know that taste. It's really nice, it's really cool and yeah, I think we should appreciate that whoever is in our family it actually is with us. So the winner is, that was number 14 and this is Yarn Taxi Driver. And my sweets, I hope you're going to enjoy them. And now in the last episode, because I went to Hedgehog Fibers and Beata gave us um, a skein, or two skeins of yarn. So, a piece of a birthday cake. It's lovely, it's beautiful, it's Marina Singles, if you're looking for this color. I was browsing through Raverly, and you, does anyone has a yarn like this? Or do we have any patterns? And the only thing that I found was that someone had it in their stash, so... My lovely winner, boom, boom, in a while I'm going to tell who that is. Um, please knit something with it. May bleed for the first couple of washes. And it's made in Ireland. I can hold that forever. And I'm adding my little, well, it's not little, but it's a big set. It's my, it's in the bag, so hopefully that'll be okay. So we have for circular needles and you have for DPNs and that's coaster and you get two tags. I don't sell big big sets, just small ones, FYI. But I think with this yarn, this set is not going to take advantage of those lovely colors. So when you knit, that yarn will pop out. Lovely. Does it make sense what I'm talking about to you? Anyway, so the winner is, oh, and how did I do that? Well, I figure out that I can't. I just have to reply to any comment I have on YouTube. I have loads of E, but not all of E are commenting, so I have time to kind of say a few words to you too. And I used, ha, huh, you know what I'm going to write down over here is a random comment something. And I basically uh, put a link to last episode and it automatically put a winner, which is boom. Now, because I know you have a YouTube account, you can get in touch with me through YouTube, I think. If not, email, Instagram, um, but I would want some kind of confirmation. That's you. Um, so that's that. I hope you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to send as soon as I get, as soon as I get your information. So one more time, more and more time, because I need to say bye-bye to those things. They're lovely. So at least I know that you're going to appreciate it and cherish it. Oh, lovely spots. And you have to knit on this and you have to tag me on it or somehow. I don't care. You have to do it. <laughs> That's a rule. That'll be a rule for my giveaways. I just need to see whatever you knit, because at least that way I know it's not just sent and it's on your shelf, that you're actually 
using it for something. And I'm not a snob or anything like that. You can mix with any yarn you want because this is 100 gram, 220 meters. So I'm waiting for all those messages. So congratulations and those of you who are jealous because I would. Uh, no worries, I will organize something else in the future, so stay in touch with me. So subscribe and follow me because more to come. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with the second skein, so uh, I'm so bad. It's so hard for me to keep something for myself. <sighs> That's good for you. Now, in the jar section. And in the jar today, I'm not going to be getting anyone off the jar. Um, as I said, it be once per month. Why? Because my wallet is like an onion. When I open it, I cry. <laughs> yeah, so, but I have that pleasure to nominate a few people. I haven't had a chance to watch all of those who you nominate on Raverly Tread yet, but I definitely will. I'll try to um, have a peek this week for more. Um, but I have three. And the first one that I want to nominate will be a person who in her podcasts also includes a bit of her life and struggle going into the gym, which I really appreciate that, you know. Um, in the last year and a half, I'm very aware of the things that I eat um, because of the situation that happened in 2015. Uh, that's why I made podcasting and all that stuff. So I'm very aware what I eat, what it's included in the food, what kind of ingredients the food has. Um, I don't want to lose weight, anything, stuff like that. So so yeah, it's, it's more about health, if I can say that way. But enough about me. Uh, so her, I... So please go on her YouTube channel, subscribe if you like. Um, if you don't, well, like her video, comment, support her in what she does because she's lovely. And yeah, I will keep on watching her. And who's that? That it's Doris from Knit and Pearl podcast. And Pearl is like the, you know, thing in the shell, in the seashell. So I promised Doris you're in my jar. So yeah. You're in. Two ladies. And if you haven't heard about them, you should and watch it because because their podcast is amazing. Um, I watched one episode when they're kind of try to be, try to record separately and then they join together back, uh, which is so cool. I would love to have someone sitting with me. Yeah, no one wants. <laughs> so they sell yarn and you can see that yarn behind their backs and it's amazing and it's lovely. I watched a few episodes already and I'm hooked. I should say needled. <laughs> knitters, knitters, fun phrases. Anyway, there it's Lydia and Sarah from Oh Loops podcast. And yeah, I'm adding you two to my jar. Cool. And then the last but not least, obviously, there are more of you over there. Just get in touch with me if you would want to get some of my lovely goodies. And as I said, is my Flower Power Collection set, big set. I don't sell big sets. You pick a color for yourself and you pick a color for your um, lucky viewer. You have to include that price as a price to accounts, giveaways, any celebrations you want to share on YouTube. Because I want to be a part of it. Yeah, I hope I don't ask for too much. So the last one is Okay, and that person was nominated by one of my um, members on Raverly Group, Knitting I Loved. Go check that because we're cool. Well, all knitters are cool, aren't they? So, um, yeah, it is Sarah from the Canadian... Okay, it is Sarah, and if I say wrong, I'm sorry. The Canadian Knitter Podcast. And lately she had her birthday. I haven't watched that episode, but it said birthday and I'm going to watch it as soon as I can. As soon as I finish this thing, I'll do. And she's hilarious. So Sarah, in my jar. You all here? I can't wait to draw. Now a bit of knitting. So what's off my needles? Well, I finished, you know, maybe I'll take these for a sec. I finished my sock. And they look like this. 
And basically I gave them a bath, check Instagram, I'll definitely post photos there. They're there anyway, I posted already. Um, and then I just stretched them on the hanger because that's a fish lips kiss heel. So I was able to do that and it kind of worked. It's just that I can't show you nicely. I really want to get um, a sun blocker and I just will slide in and it, it, it looks really lovely. So this is 64, two, two by two, stockinette stitch, fish lips kiss heel, normal stockinette stitch and the circular. I divide it by eight and I just basically knit two together through one row before the marker and then one row without the crease and so on and so on until I got some left and I BO, I call it BO. They're like that. So in regards to this, I'm going to tell you more in the cowl section. So yay, so I'm happy. And I used Sitter yarn, as you're probably aware of that. And I still have 64 grams. It looks like that I used less than 50 grams on, the, on those two socks. So I can um, do something with the yarn or organize a giveaway. <laughs> Maybe someone else would want to knit. And it's really nice. Like, look at that. They're not too small. They're not too thick. Those stripes, they're like perfect. And I love the idea that half of the hill is one color and another half is another color. It's so cool. I know there is a cow, Kristen's cow, about the box and 12 socks in a year, and I really want to be able to join. Um, I'm thinking about that. I don't want to put myself under like pressure to make sure to knit one pair. I want to really enjoy it. Um, well, I'm trying to make sure to have three project, projects on my needles, which is a hat, a socks, and a shawl. Small things small steps forward for me and I'm thinking about um, a sweater obviously to knit but I'm still thinking another thing what is off my needles it's um, this pattern which were gifted um, which were gifted to me by designer Gina from Brownie Knits podcast and if you watch two videos during my trips I did a card knitting over there and I was knitting that hat um, I was using Kerry Woolen Meals, this is a salmon colour, so Irish 100% uh, wool yarn, but that's, I don't think it's worsted and that pattern would say to use worsted weight, um, so I think that's more DK because I have to go down with the stitches and I actually uh, casted on 70 stitches as I was telling you in the last video during my trip, but I figured out that whatever patterns tells you, I still, I didn't. <laughs> whatever pattern tells you to uh, create that lovely shape design, which is here, I kind of changed it because of, as much as I love it and I don't have worsted weight yarn, you see, it's slightly smaller, different. Um, it is slightly different, so, but I will still kind of say it's a almost flossy hat. Um, yeah, so instead of going with the 10, whatever pattern tells you, I was going with five. And I'm not going to say anything more. So it's a really nice pattern. I'll make a short video in the future. That's what I do between podcasts. So I'll tell you more about it and I'll tell you, and I'll show it on my head. So these are two things that are off my needles and I'm going to show you a few videos in the future. So subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Here or here. Hmm. Now what's on my needles? On my needles I have two things. One, I probably could have finished it, but, but I'm just, ah! yeah. And what's that about? I'm knitting. Whispering Pines by Molly from a Homespun um, House podcast. She has a shop, she sells yarn and patterns. Go. Um, links, show notes, in my show notes. Um, so I'm enjoying it and I figure out something in the middle of it that I'm, in regard to my knitting, that I'm just doing something wrong. Anyway, in regards pearls, 
And that's because of Marsha and that's because of Mina that I kind of hmm, thought about something. But that's more in a while. So I use this one, Debbie Bliss Fine Donegal. And this is a Merino Wool Cashmere. Oh, well, Merino is 95, Cashmere is 5%. So more about Cashmere. I'm very curious about that. Right, for color. 54005 and it's 100 gram and it says that it's 415 yards with it which is 380 meters and the pattern tells you that if you want to knit this lovely shawl you need to have give me a sec two skeins fingering light sport 200 yards so i thought with sport and that's maybe not a sport don't know. Uh, but anyway, I run out of it that much. And I have the last section to make with the bind off. And um, I really want you to help me. Well, I don't want as much as lovely yarn it is. I have, as you see, I got some stuff for my birthday and I want to really go into it. Um, so I'm not really, I'm, I don't want to buy an extra ball of yarn just to finish this thing. So if you have maybe in your stash some leftovers, please send, get in touch with me and send it to me. Um, yeah, we shall see anyone if anyone replies to me or at least you can say that you checked but you haven't found it. I would really nice to hear that you're um, thinking about me. Um, yeah, then maybe like I will keep it for like two weeks and oh, I would really want to finish. My mom is coming on Friday and I told her that I will, she will wear her own um, shawl that I made for her, which is Mina's pattern, Highland Peaks shawl. And I thought I will wear this one and it's amazing. It's beautiful. And because I figured out what I was doing wrong, it actually shows the pattern in a while. So yeah, but this is what I have. It is beautiful and I had to frog it and I frogged it over here. Sorry for my progress keeper, which is basically, yeah, it's, yeah. But yeah, I had to go down to this and I knit it up. I really like it and encourage you to, to knit it. Go and check hashtag, oh, for the flossy hat, you can, for Flossy Hat, go and check hashtag uh, Flossy Hat. I think that's the, the hashtag. You can check on Instagram. And for the Whispering Pine Shawl, I go Whispering Pine Shawl. Hashtag. You can check more. <laughs> and as much as I was frustrated that that yarn didn't last for the shawl, because I still have the shawl and needles, I just wanted to cast on something really quickly um, to get to cheer me up and the pattern that cheers me up definitely is this one and I probably mis mispronounced that completely but I would read Narita Express Show Narita 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 let's say Narita uh, Express Shawl and it is amazing. Yeah, you can just knit you don't have to focus so much. I always make boxes so I tick each row I do so I like that too um, the yarn that I use for that is my last uh, birthday haul which is King Haul which is 73% acrylic premium acrylic whatever premium means and 24 wool and 3% viscose and it's lovely 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 um, I'll give me a second um creating color which looks like that i've already made my one personal touch in it and i can show you that which is here accidentally i made a yarn over so i add two stitches somewhere one stitch but because this pattern is just so nice forgetful is that the word forgetful yeah you could without any hesitation i would say this could be your first shawl if you've never done a shawl before now you see the gradient ah oh, 
love it so and that will be for my mother-in-law present so i can't wait what's more on my needles well i want to cast on socks and i have a dilemma because there is a cow for a stripey socks and there is a cow for harry potter inside number 23 organize that katie so I don't know, I don't know. Can I mix two together? Can I go with a stripey with a... But I want to make it for Sebastian and I don't think he would want to have a pattern. So, hmm, unless I'm be selfish and I'll do it again for myself. With a Hermione, I think. What with, with a fish lip kiss heel. Can I do Hermione with fish lips kiss heel? Let me know. And the yarn that I'm having in mind. Oh, by the way, this probably should be a new section patterns. So now, so now patterns, I'm thinking about this one for myself, which is Cerder, and it is the same than this. I hope so, anyway. Um, so I'm very tempted to do something with it. So now, suggestions. I'm going to um, cast on, well, to be, why I say to be honest all the time? Well, I have two high high sharps needles, so I'm thinking to go a little bit over my comfort zone and cast on two socks at the same time, which will be for me, this one, and this is Cinder, and the color is 0164, and to show you again, this is exactly the same company I'm not sure I'm not saying that it's going to show the same stripe things mm. uh, but that's 64 stitches and I think I'm going to cast less than that because um, grocery girls were set talking about socks and they said that if you kind of if your feet foot slides into the sock and it's kind of just okay it's going to get get it's going to extend but I was thinking that Acrylic have a tendency to sh to go bigger, but I think wool in case of a temperature goes smaller. So yeah, if you know more stuff or you have you've been more experienced in that area, please let me know because yeah, I love it. And I love socks at home. I love to stick my legs up, get some neat knitting, and watch. And I'm now I watched House episode on Netflix. I watched um, Sherlock on Netflix. I watched that 70s show on Netflix that wiped the inspiration of Flower Power 70s and I feel into that area. Um, and now I'm watching How I Met My Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother or something like that. It's a comedy anyway. So I like to watch that these days or podcasters. And the second, I think, um, project I'm going to do, which be those things, and that's maybe for Sebastian. You may not see it, but this is gray and this is blue. It's like a jeans, a different shade. So I think it's not going to be popping up with the color or uh, it could be subtle. So just to let you know, this is 44 and this is 52. And that's the company, it's Woolcraft. Superwash shock yarn knits to four ply. Yes. And in that case, because I like my socks with a creamy ribbing, for him I will just go one way or another. So I hope to get at least two socks. But as I told you, you may even go with three. Now, you know my thing about sweaters. I'm still looking for a perfect sweater. Um, the yarn that I have in mind to do, it's acrylic yarn. I got it once. There was a sale. No, it wasn't a sale. But Aldi or Lidl? Aldi. Aldi pops up some acrylic happiness for knitters once in a while. And I got crazy and I bought loads. And I bought cream and kind of brownish color. And I got, it, but if I say loads, I will I'll show you maybe next, during next episode, what I have in mind. Um, so yeah, and is that the, that's Aaron. So that's thicker than DK. If you know any patterns in that area, please let me know. It can be a sweater, it could be cardigan, it could be something. Well, I'm tall, so I don't think that long stuff would suit me. So anyway, if you know any pattern, tag me, Raverly, anything. I will really appreciate that. And the second thing, second or third, 
I told you during the last episode and I got some information about the lace work and I want to make um, and I want to make something with it okay I'm not saying shawls only anything that those two colors will work together I went on Ravelry and I went to yarn section when you write it down your yarn name and your color you will have a project over there and you can find many with this and many with this but not together so I'm thinking about some stripes I should have another cream one I think that would at least balance it up here it's a big contrast big contrast so I'm thinking about stripey things but I'm going to tell you what I heard La 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 la. <laughs> okay, what I've heard. One member, one lovely lady on in my Reverly group recommended some hedgehog fibers, shawl designs. And yeah, I like especially one. Morrigan. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm afraid that it'll be too advanced for me at the moment, but that would be on my wish list. Well, it's for free, so yeah, but my wish list to actually knit it. Then I saw another one, different. I saw also another beautiful shawl pattern. Uh, it is liquid honey. Oh, it's so yellow and it's it has holes and it's nice, it's nice. Um, then I wrote down over here green. Oh, I know this one. Yeah, this is a paid pattern. Quite high because I think I would have to spend more than seven euro on it. Lacking something like this by Karina Ferguson. I'm butchering all the surnames and names and I will probably, so please forgive me. When I get better, I think this is one for us for free. Adian Shawl by Elizabeth Freeman. And it is... Oh, that one is yeah i'm thinking also about the stash that i have and i have a polish wool which is unusually in the fingering weight i think i'm kind of getting used to it so kind of recognize the yarn so yeah um, and i was thinking to make a shawl well this is more like a scarf and i was thinking about arhen arhem arnhem loop yeah anyway no i'm just going to write down over here for you i really like that and i think because i have those two colors it will really suit and because it's a wool and maybe it'd be scratchy or not i may survive with that so i uh, yeah that i will go for it and then there's another one i wrote down over here which is cape sleeve lattice top pearl soho oh yeah 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 this is actually a top i don't know i just looked at it and i loved it Although, as I said, this is a knitting cave. I can't have any, I can't show you my shoulders. <laughs> it's too cold. So you can expect me to have a sweater. And even summer in Ireland is not summer. Summer over here is for one, during one day or a week. That's max, that's summer, and that's all. And I'm not talking about something that you can, well, I'm talking about something that you can actually show your leg in the skirt or shorts. <sighs> And that goes to, that thought goes to now second thing. It goes to the last episode of Grocery Girls because they mentioned Pottermore and they said the website. I love their information. So you can just pause, write it down. You don't misspell anything. I love it. So I went on it and I just tried to figure out what house I'm in. It's about Harry Potter basically. So in regards to Harry Potter, I haven't watched all of it or movies, all movies. I watched some um, and last year I did something stupid well some of you may probably think um, my husband had a birthday in January last year and I figured out that I will read and record myself um, reading a book and the first book I thought would be fun it would be Harry Potter so I read it I managed to do that and I thought that I will set up myself a goal to read all the series for him and then at, at the end for me um through the year but i'm failed because i'm reading book six so i haven't done that yet so i'm not sure exactly how the whole series ends but i did the test and it came up that i'm from slytherin that's how you call it so now so i'm slytherin and i was thinking about that slytherin thing and 
They live in dungeon and I somehow call this room a knitting cave and the caves are like dungeons. It's all the time cold, it's miserable here. <laughs> So yeah, and I don't mind. I like nighttime. I would knit during nighttime, then early morning, so I could stay long. And I love cats because they're oh my god, who have whoever has cats? Like Mina has a cat. Robin has a cat. Um, yeah, and many podcast podcasters have cats. So I was like, yeah, I would love to have someone here cuddling. And the cats are so warm and nice. And oh yeah, so I I picked black cat and I probably, yeah, I'm a Slytherin. I don't know what to think about that. Yeah. If you know the book more about Slytherin and stuff, just write it down. Think if it's actually appropriate that I should be in that house. Well, I'm accepting it. I'm not changing it. Uh, well, I can mix with some green and silver colors apparently. And my thingy would be snake. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's not, that snakes are, no, 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 that's no. But green, I'm in Ireland. So, yeah, I think, I think that's cool. I could kind of be okay with that. Some news and more things to come in next episodes. I bought a bag. I found eventually a flowery bag. Um, well, I'm looking for more. Um, there are so many and so beautiful. Thank you so much for tagging me or sending me links to some bags. I really appreciate that. Yeah, um, so what I would expect for a bag, I like kind of, you know, those IKEA ones. They're kind of long and wide. They don't have to be tall. I like the idea that some podcasters shows because they make bags that you can kind of flip stuff. Which I like that. Or if they stand like this, I'm fine too. I like bright insides. You know, that it's not dark because to find anything in the dark, it's so hard. So I find a lovely orangey color inside. So yeah, uh, and to be more specific, uh, an owner of that shop told me that in a few weeks time, she will send me some bags for my viewer too. And oh my God, she has amazing fabrics. You know, they're one in a kind. And they're very, oh, I can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait to show you that. But I will leave you with that kind of secret at the moment. Yeah, I'm such a sliver in. <laughs> Okay, around the world. That'll be my new section for next episode. I hope I told you that I'm earning to get some yarn around the world and you're so lovely too getting in touch with me and telling me your favorite dyers and and so on and so on and so on so i'm so happy about that there are a few from emails that i received about yarn and i may get some to show you and that's also another surprise that at least i can share that with you um so yeah i'll show you something in the future i hope you'll be delighted about that we shall see how that goes um, so that will be my section around the world. And obviously, if I knit something with yarn, I will make a short video. Um, and the last but not least, my lovely friend gave me a present. Obviously, she gave me some cosmetics because, let's face it, I'm not the younger one. I need something on my face. Um, but she also gave me this lovely notebook. And it's such a flower power collection. I'll show you now because of the bloom top and the long things. I hope she doesn't mind for me to show and they're lovely smaller ones. It just, it's amazing. And I love it because it has lines. Normally you get blank and my handwriting, if you bought any of my pouches, you know how my handwriting is bad. I'm trying to make it the way that you can at least read it. I should be a doctor. <laughs> and the lovely note that she made for me and I stick it over here. So yeah, what I'm going to do with it, I don't have a clue, but oh, it's beautiful. So I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoy. Whoever need to get in touch with me, please get in touch with me in regards prizes. If you want to donate any prizes or spoil me and my viewers a bit too, feel free if you oh yeah and if you help me with this debbie bliss things and even the small tiny piece oh we really appreciate that hopefully i can gather some i always check Ravelry and i always check youtube and i always check instagram i have a 
profile on Facebook, but you know, I post things there if you're a Facebook fan too. I think that's all. In any case, you can help me. I know I'm asking loads of questions, um, but if you can help, I really appreciate that. Um, I hope to see you all on Instagram and here in the comments. Um, yay! It, it's so much fun. I really enjoy it. Bye! Okay, go back, sorry. In the jar, I will have a few more mutton, mutton, blah, blah. I will have new, uh, blah, blah. <laughs>